want to do a quick example of how to do some digital coloring. Start with uh, flatting. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my inks. This is just a photograph of a uh, drawing I did. And I'm going to do a levels adjustment. The thing I'm looking for is I really want to get as close to black and white as possible without losing any detail. So this middle one, I drift towards black. But then I want to cut out some of this white. So this information on the right side is the, the lighter side of things. So I want to get rid of some of that. Get rid of some of the blacks. And that's pretty good there. Then I want to change this to multiply. This is your, these are your blending options. If this is multiply, then anything underneath it, let me show you what that does. If I fill this with, let's just do a gradient real quick. Okay, now if this turns to multiply, then anything underneath it is going to get, the black is going to stay, and the light or the white is, is going to be gone. So it kind of burns in or multiplies um, the things underneath it. So your ink layer is changed to multiply, and then you want to put a layer underneath it. I'll label that flats. Put that on the bottom. Now change to a selection tool. Any of these will work. I prefer the polygonal lasso tool. Make sure that your anti-alias is unchecked. If that's checked, it's going to cause you some problems later, and I'll show you why. Now let's go down here and we're just going to trace around the skin. Notice I'm splitting the line in half. You can close this off whenever you want because we can just add to it. I'm going to go in and hold shift and grab that little bit there. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in just a touch, make sure that I'm splitting that line down the middle. I've got a little bit here, so I'm going to come back in, hold shift, and grab that little bit. Okay, so now I've got everything that I want. We'll say, I mean, I would go through and get the rest of this arm and everything. There's a bunch of different ways to do selections, but then you're basically you're just going to come in with your paint bucket tool, which is here. And you're going to fill this with a color. Make sure that anti-alias is off. And then you just come in, click once, fill it with a color. Now, I'm filling it on my flat layer, and notice that my inks are still on top. I can add to this. I'm going to speed this up a little bit so you guys don't have to watch me do this. But you would just follow this line, splitting it down the middle. Then you fill out the paint bucket. You can come in and delete sections, just pressing delete. Now I'm going to speed this next part up. Basically go through and select all of the other shapes and color them. It really doesn't matter what color they are, but things that are the same color should be the same color. Uh, lock this layer down. Add a layer on top of it. You can call that paint or color or whatever you want. And then click on this layer, get out your magic wand tool, and you can grab any of these shapes and come in here like this with a paintbrush and then you can come in and you can paint. Notice that it won't. Let me change colors just a little bit. Uh, I'll make this... Yeah. So notice that it doesn't escape outside of that selection. So I can come in here and I can change these to be whatever I want. I can do a hue saturation adjustment on it. Um, I can come back here, click on my flats, click on my skins. You can come in and you can start painting now. Um, and you don't have to worry about selections because whenever you want to do a different portion, you just grab that portion and you can fill it with color or you can adjust it or whatever. So there you go. There's a quick flatting and coloring example. You know, you'd, you'd go on and color and paint from here. So the key points are remember that your ink layer should be multiply, and that should be on top of everything. Make sure you lock that. I didn't lock it in the example. Lock that so you can't draw on it. And then underneath, you're going to have your flats. 
And then you can either make a copy of that and color those, or you can just use that as something that you use the selection or magic wand tool on and then paint within that selection.